How can God's message be preached if the messengers are in sin? How can the faith of God's nation be guarded for those whom God has chosen to be his own? He places a leader to make his message fully known. How can God's message be preached if the messengers are in sin? How can the faith of God's nation be guarded for those whom God has chosen to be his own? He places a leader to make his message fully known. Since April 23, 1963, the works of the church continue to succeed through brother Iranio Manalo, the executive minister placed by God in the church to be followed. July 27, 1968, the gathering in the far west in the United States, the first worship service in Honolulu, Hawaii, fulfillment of the prophecy of the Almighty. Fast forward to 1994, the Church of Christ reached different parts of the globe as it was about to be registered in Rome, an election was held, and the result made known to the whole Church of Christ when all of God's nation witnessed the oath taking, history in the making. Brother Eduardo Manalo was elected, deputy executive minister and successor. Like the messenger before, Kaerdi was fearless. He tirelessly led the church for 46 years, advising the brethren, upholding the doctrines taught by the messenger, God's words in the Bible. In the ways to meet with our Lord Jesus Christ, he reminded us there's no salvation outside the church. He dynamically led the church of Christ, so he was like the rest. August 31st, 2009, and we felt pain and, and we're, we're grieving. grieving. People lied up outside in the rain just to see him, but we never weaken. We stand firm in our faith. God placed Brother Eduardo to lead us to complete our race. Since September 7, 2009, God's works keeps ascending, never on decline. Hundreds of worship buildings dedicated every year. Joining the church now are former religious leaders. Meanwhile, leading never ties. Visiting brethren all over the world, he inspires. In the midst of dangers and exhaustion, he strives to see all our brothers and sisters in Christ. Europe, Australia, North and South America, Russia, and Asian countries showing love for Africa. Working in the yard is astounding. The church is in 140 plus countries and counting. We are proud to be in God's nation. We share our faith with the world through world by propagation. Through intensive works, God, Wardo leads us forward to complete the race that God has set before us. But make sure that you don't get so absorbed and exhausted in taking care of all your day by day obligations, that you lose track of the time and doze off, oblivious to God. The night is about over, dawn is about to break. Be up and awake to what God is doing. God is putting the finishing touches on the salvation work He began when we first believed. We can't afford to waste a minute, must not squander these precious daylight hours in frivolity and indulgence, in sleeping around in dissipation, in bickering and grabbing everything in sight. Get out of bed and get dressed, go loiter and linger, waiting until the very last minute. Dress yourselves in Christ and be up and about.